Athena, Angelina Jolie, one of the Eternals' most powerful warriors, is based on the Greek goddess Athena. The film even implies that Athena served as the inspiration for Athena in the MCU, having inspired the ancient Greeks during her time with them. Athena, the city's patron goddess, was the Greek goddess of war and wisdom and one of Zeus's elder children. Gilgamesh, Don Lee, is another of the Eternals' warriors, clearly inspired by Mesopotamian mythology and the Epic of Gilgamesh. The Epic of Gilgamesh is one of humanity's earliest documented stories, chronicling the mighty hero travels kings and quest for immortality. Gilgamesh demonstrated both raw strength and a far more gentle and caring side in the film, as he cared for his partner Thena over centuries as her mind crumbled under the weight of repressed memories. Ikari's Richard Madden is easily the strongest of the Eternals, possessing a variety of familiar abilities, including flight, super strength, and laser vision. While a specific DC superhero may come to mind as a model for Ikari's, the film indicates that he is the inspiration for the myth of Icarus, son of the master inventor Daedalus. Icarus became famous after appropriating Daedalus's wings and flying dangerously close to the sun, meeting a tragic end that has long served as a cautionary tale about hubris. We saw a glimpse of Icarus's story at the conclusion of Eternals, when Ikari's flew into the sun in repentance for his rebellion against his family. Sprite, Liao McHugh, is one of the Eternals whose story is clearly connected to a god. One might be reminded of Loki's similar abilities by her ability to create incredibly realistic illusions, which makes sense given that Sprite appears to be based on the trickster archetype. This archetype appears in a variety of mythologies, most notably in the Norse god Loki and the Indian god Shakuni. Tricksters are, for the most part, intelligent and cunning beings who use their intelligence to deceive others and are frequently at the center of stories. We saw Sprite do this in the film's third act, when she created an illusion of a jack and then stabbed Cersei in the back. Walla Jack, Salma Hayek, is modeled after a Greek mythological figure, she is not inspired by a god. She is inspired by a human named Ajax. Having said that, Ajax was an exceptional hero, widely regarded as the second greatest Greek warrior after Achilles. Ajax was also a skilled tactician, which is where his influence shines the brightest in Ajax. Ajax, the prime eternal, led the group sent to Earth and was the only member of the Eternals who understood their true mission, to cultivate humanity until they possessed sufficient energy to birth a celestial. Fastos, Brian Tyree Henry, is a less combat-oriented Eternal whose ability to manipulate small objects, combined with his incredible intellect, makes him one of history's greatest inventors and one of the MCU's brightest minds. He is modeled after Hephaestus, a member of the Greek pantheon renowned for his forge work and ability to construct intricate machines. This is evident in Fastos, who contributed technology such as the simple plow and the steam engine and was instrumental in humankind's technological development. Kingo is another of the Eternals who bears no obvious resemblance to a deity. One possible influence was Dionysus, the god of theater and wine. This influence is evident in Kingo's passion for performance, he has spent his century on earth acting in film after film, passing himself off as his own grandson in order to maintain the illusion of agelessness. This, combined with a sense of flamboyance, suggests that Kingo was inspired by Dionysus. Druig, Barry Keoghan, is an Eternal who possesses the ability to control other sentient beings, which he primarily uses to subdue humans and prevent them from fighting as he pleases. He may have drawn inspiration from the Greek deity Dolos. Dolos is a minor deity known for being a spirit of mischief and deception capable of deceiving others into doing his bidding and even tricking the other gods. While Dolos is not known for mind control, his cunning and skillful manipulation suggest that he was at least partially the inspiration for the film's Druig. Matt Carey, Lauren Ridloff, the Eternals fastest member and the MCU's first deaf superhero, is almost certainly descended from the Roman god Mercury. Mercury was the god's messenger, oversaw travelers and messages, and shepherded souls to the afterlife. He needed to be extremely quick, in a nutshell. Mercury was also the protagonist of Eternals creator Jack Kirby's earliest work, Red Raven Comics' Mercury in the 20th century. 
Makari's super speed makes her a formidable adversary, allowing her to sprint around the world in a matter of seconds, while also striking hard, as evidenced by her briefly subduing Ikari's during the final showdown. Circe, Gemma Chan, the Eternals' de facto protagonist, is inspired by the Greek sorcerer Circe. Circe is another Greek mythological figure who is not a god, but a human albeit a powerful one. Circe is famous for transforming Odysseus' crew into pigs during the Odyssey, though she is only capable of transmuting non-sentient objects, such as dirt into water. There is also a nod to Circe inspiring the legend of King Midas, as Circe transforms a stone dagger into pure gold during one of her first interactions with humanity. Finally, we have a character who is not an Eternal, but rather one of the deviants against whom the Eternals fought. Crow was one of the film's primary antagonists, an evolved deviant who gradually grew stronger as he drained the Eternals' powers. Crow is modeled after Kronos, a Greek titan and the father of numerous gods, including Zeus. Kronos is infamous for eating his children out of fear that they would rebel against him. Crow, on the other hand, feeds on the Eternals in order to empower himself and his deviant family. Eros makes an unexpected appearance in Eternals' post credit scene. In the MCU, he is Thanos' much more attractive and less purple younger brother. Eros was the Greek god of love in mythology. Aphrodite, the goddess of beauty, was his mother, and Eros was infamous for making people's lives difficult. He'd shoot them with his infatuation arrows, causing them to fall for the wrong person.